QBR break was founded in 1986, initially packing disc pad kits and bonding import shoes. In 1988, the company signed a manufacturing and distribution agreement with Bendix and opened a new production facility in Stockton, California. In 1990, QBR expanded into the caliper remanufacturing business. Today, QBR is recognized as one of the highest quality caliper remanufacturers in the United States and the reputation of its new Gion semi-loaded caliper program is second to none. In addition to its standard remanufactured caliper line, QBR markets the premium line of NHT powder-coated caliper sets. QBR also assembles and distributes a full program of friction products under the PBR and Axis brands. Engineered and formulated by the FMP Group in Australia, these premium pads are made at several FMP-owned or approved factories around the world, then finished, shimmed, packed, managed, and catalogued by QBR for the North American market. To complement its premium pad offering, QBR also imports a full line of bonded and riveted brake shoes that are sold under the PBR and Axis brands. In 1997, the company's focus on quality drove QBR to become the first national rebuilder registered to the QS9000 standard. Today, QBR maintains registrations to both the ISO 9001-2008 quality standard and the ISO 14001-2004 environmental standard. Quality has always been our main focus here at QBR New Geon. We know that process quality leads to consistent product quality. We realize that our most important assets are the QBR associates who disassemble, assemble, control and test products on the factory floor every day. So we design our processes to support those associates continually. Caliper core returns are individually inspected for damage and completeness, then drained of their brake fluid before being scanned into the QBR system. This will issue customer core credits and update QBR's core inventory in real time. Checked-in caliper cores are then brought to their storage locations in the QBR core yard. Caliper work orders are triggered by customer orders or automated Kanban replenishment signals from our finished goods warehouse. Each work order is printed with a complete indented bill of materials for the product, the quantities required, and any SKU-specific assembly notes. First, the work order is routed to a core yard associate who will retrieve the proper quantity of complete cores to the teardown area. Cores supplied from the core yard are disassembled at four teardown lines. Pads, hardware, elastomeric, and phenolic components are sorted, washed, and discarded to recyclers. The blind pin bores on each bracket are washed, wire brushed, and then blown clear to remove old hardened grease. All disassembled caliper components are hot water washed to remove any grease and residual fluids. The interior surfaces of used steel pistons are sandblasted. The pistons are then rock tumble washed. The insides of the salvaged pistons are sprayed for rust protection and cosmetic appearance after a rigorous inspection where about 50% of the pistons are rejected due to rust, scratches, or dents. Hydraulic ports and the areas around them are protected with flanged plastic plugs before shot blasting. Fixed calipers are shot blasted in the assembled state and then disassembled prior to the tapping operation. After shot blasting, all threaded holes in every housing and bracket are chased with taps to assure thread conformity. Housing cavities are wire brushed, blown clean, and inspected prior to rust inhibitor application. A special water-based rust inhibitor coating is hot blasted onto the housings, brackets, and salvaged components in a conveyorized washer before being staged in carts for delivery to one of the caliper assembly cells. Control samples, retrieved from the control sample library, are placed on each work order component cart prior to delivery to the assembly cells. The traveling work order informs cell workstations of the part numbers, part storage locations, and part quantities for the changeover. Each associate goes to adjacent storage locations to retrieve the parts required at their workstations for the new work order. Assembly begins with the bleeder screw, 
piston seal and manually installed pistons, followed by the piston boot installation. Each and every caliper is leak tested using original equipment ATEC leak detectors. Calipers are metal stamped with a two-digit date code only after they pass the air test. When applicable, bracket pins and pin boots are assembled into the housing pin bores after each bore has been lubricated with thickened silicone grease. Pad hardware is packaged and inlet ports are plugged with properly sized copper washers as may be required. The packaging associate verifies that the work order part number and the control sample part numbers match before scanning the work order to print the part number label. The packaging associate then makes the box, wraps the assembled caliper in VCI paper, and inserts the caliper and pad hardware kit into the box. The printed label is taken from the label printer and installed onto the box. Then the box is placed on a put-away pallet or cart assigned to the work order in process. Labels are only dispensed by the printer one at a time, preventing possible labeling errors. When the work order is complete, a move order is printed, indicating where to store the production lot in the finished good warehouse or on a staged customer-bound pallet. Two of the caliper assembly cells are set up to assemble the more complicated rear calipers with their intricate parking brake actuation mechanisms. Calipers that need to be powder coated are masked and powder coated after being hot washed in an aqueous cleaner phosphate solution. Powder coated calipers are then baked to provide a robust, durable, and attractive finish. Premium NHT caliper sets are then assembled with all new components. PBR and Axis Friction products are built to order for several customers. Stripped pads are shipped to QBR from FMP's factories and other leading friction manufacturers. New lock shims, when available, are QBR's first choice for noise suppression. Piston clips, hold down clips, wear sensor clips, and other hardware are then attached through orbital riveting operations. Assembled brake pads are then kitted in axle sets carefully oriented to protect the friction surfaces and shrink-wrapped in a heat tunnel before being boxed and labeled. The plant also has the ability to brand individual pads with customer-specific edge codes if required. The product team develops bills of materials for new applications, orders components, and evaluates non-conformances, new first article samples, and production batch samples from suppliers. Caliper and friction finished goods are stored in a 20,000 square foot portion of the building that utilizes computer designated storage addresses to maximize warehouse volume utilization. Orders are picked using wrist worn RF scanners as pickers travel established picking routes on order picker lifts. Visit our brand website at newgeon.com and consider joining QBR's growing list of discerning customers who do not compromise on quality.